You said that short form is a gateway to long form. So what would your strategy be for that? If you're making TikToks, you're getting the short form reach. Is long form substance in your opinion? And does that mean send people off platform? Does that mean try to get TikTok to get your account to 10 minutes, which is super interesting, longer form ver vi uh, vertical video? What do you mean by short form as a gateway to long form? And what would the tactics be in that? It means that a lot of long form creators don't focus on short form and vice versa. There's a reason I have one hour keynote videos and one hour podcasts, but also pound unlimited micro content that's 10 seconds long. Um, you can go very tactical and you know, you know, a lot of people wanna hear that are like, should I make a TikTok that says watch the rest on YouTube? It's less about that, people will find you. They become intrigued. Your URL strategy on all your social networks should be very thoughtful. I'm constantly changing them based on whatever my objectives are. Uh, but it just means that the world of content creating should be always thought about as and, and I notice that everybody's into or. Right, people are insecure. Most of you did not start on TikTok fast enough because you didn't have followers on it. You didn't start on TikTok fast enough because you had 80,000 followers on Instagram and you had zero on TikTok and you didn't like that feeling. That's why celebrities lost the first time around. So like the things that you made fun of people for on Instagram, you became on TikTok. And so, you know, I just, I think it's always and, everyone's in or, they're like, Gary, I'm already on Instagram. I, they love using like logical excuses like, Gary, I need to focus. I'm like, cool, knock yourself out. I'll talk to you in 36 months when you're crying. <laughs> you're focusing on losing. <laughs> the lack of humility and the lack of interest in putting in the work on a new thing because you just figured out the last thing is why most people don't grow. There's not an accident that I've been winning on every platform for the last 15 years. It's called humility and hard work. You think I was pumped when I had a million followers on Twitter and Instagram came along? I was pissed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm winning this bird game. <laughs> but I'm like, everyone's gonna go there, so I need to go. You think I was pumped when TikTok came along? I was dominating the gram. I was like, that's where it's gonna be. So the lack of humility and the lack of like, I don't want to learn this new thing, I just got this. That's fine. There's a problem though. What you want has nothing to do with the, what the market is doing. The market doesn't give a shit about your feelings. The market's not like, oh, Tyrone spent a lot of time on Instagram, we should not create TikTok. If you enjoyed this content and want to take your YouTube channel to the next level, just click or tap the link on the screen or go to tube1kchallenge.com to join our next live YouTube challenge. You'll learn our best tips and strategies that are working here at Think Media and I think you'll love it.